But nowadays, if I need to read, I do this, and you can tell this gets tiring real quick. Even if the font gets larger, seeing one sentence on your screen at a time mm, is a no for me. It's A back on your screen with another one. Hope you're all well. In this one, I'll be answering 14 of your FAQs. It's Vlogmas Day 14. You know I'm trying to match the numbers with the days. Okay, so I have written down the 14 most popular questions. I'm still gonna have to zoom in like this to be able to read them for you. So let's get into this. First and most popular question ever asked, is there a cure? No, a longer answer is not quite yet. If you go on clinicaltrials.gov, you'll see that there's a lot of trials around the globe. Some seem promising, some not so much but check it out and see. The second most popular question I get asked either on the gram or in real life is what can you see? If you wanna see visually, you can click the video over here, but to describe it quickly right now, I use my peripherals. So imagine holding up something, your fingers, your pen, whatever, over here. You're still looking straight, but you can tell that there's something in your peripheral. That's how I see everything, whether it's in front of me, beside me, it's just not quite clear. Fine print, I can't see that at all. I always have to zoom in with my iPhone or use a large screen. Everything needs to be blown up in order for me to see. Popular question number three is, is it genetic? Yes, but not genetic as in my mom and my dad have it and they gave it to me or anyone else in my family has Stargardt's disease, but more that it is a recessive genetic disease. So you need to have the gene, which means if I were to have a kid one day, they're not guaranteed to have the same disease as me. They may be a carrier, but they might not have the same disease. I don't know why people keep asking me this question. How do you clean? Is it because of the vlogs? A lot of people comment like your house is so clean or is your house only clean because you're vlogging? I'm kind of a clean freak, but I could be cleaner. When you come from a Caribbean household, just know that my parents used to cuss me off about my hair on the floor. So I'm a little anal about weird things. The easiest way to describe how I clean, even though I can't see well, is I wipe, wipe, wipe and wipe again. Anything it gets wiped 92 times. Sometimes I'll feel for it too. If I'm cleaning dishes, I'll double check because there have been times, you know, I offer a water glass to a friend and I'm like, yeah, that's, I'm the only one here. So it's my lip gloss here. Here's another glass. Let me wash that one. Similar but different is how do you cook? Everything's well done. When I go out, I can treat myself to medium rare, but I ain't doing that up in here. Everything is well done. I make sure that things are cooked based on time, scent, sound, all those other senses will let you know if things are cooked thoroughly, properly, and if it's just right. Recently, so many people have been asking me this question. How do you see where you're going? I blindly go where no one's ever gone. You know, there's always gonna be the really bad blind joke in these videos. I use my peripherals the same way I described how can I see or what do I see is the same way I navigate. Luckily, I have enough peripheral and enough central that I can navigate without a dog or a cane, and that's why you don't see me with either. I'm taking this next question as a compliment. I don't think you guys would ask if I did a bad job. How do you do your makeup? Mm. A 10X magnification mirror that's actually meant for contact lenses. This next question is how do you travel? Oh, I haven't traveled in so long since this panorama began. So who knows what it's gonna be like this time around. But the last time I went two years ago, I let the airlines know and they'll actually put me on one of those caddies. And even though I can't see people's faces cause I can't see that far, I can sense them looking at me like, why is this chicken taking the handicap caddy? They don't know though. I take that to the gate or I'll ask them like, what is it besides? So I can kind of based on color, see the landmarks that are near the number and zoom in with my phone. When it comes to boarding the plane or the train or whatever it is, if there's a seat number, I'll ask the person in front of me, hey, is this aisle 16 seat D? Zoom in with my phone or I'll ask the person to escort me. Or I'll see where seat one is and literally count in my mind as I'm passing each aisle. Next question, how do you shop? Most times I shop online. It's so much easier to zoom in to get the right size, the right color, because I be buying the wrong thing all the time in living color. So I prefer to shop online when I'm buying accessories, clothes, hair products, whatever it is. <laughs> but when it comes to food, obviously, I'll go in store and I'll either zoom in to see the price or really feel up the fruits and people think I'm insane, but that's how I know if something's fresh. Next question has to be because of the weekly vlogs. How do you order food when you go out? I don't go out that much. 
But when I do, if you've seen the vlogs, you know, I indulge. Since the panorama, a lot of restaurants have been doing the whole QR code menu thing, which is really good because I can zoom in on my screen. Or alternately, or alternatively, I don't know how to pronounce that word. Otherwise, I'll take a screenshot or zoom in with the app to see the menu. <laughs> Sometimes I even zoom in when it's time to pay because I've either over tipped or under tipped and I'm not trying to do that anymore. Next popular question is how do you work? It all depends on where you work. Is the place accommodating or not? That's going to really determine everything. If I'm working in a place that's not as accommodating as they should be or legally are binded to be, then a lot of it falls on me. You're your best advocates. You have to know what you need before you ask of it from other people. Other way around, if a place is very open and accommodating, it's more collaborative. You get to have conversations and figure out what works best for you and if there's funding for you and that type of thing. So it really, really depends. I've done jobs that are very tactile, jobs that are very screen heavy. I wouldn't recommend those, but you can find a way around them if the place is accommodating, if you know what you need, and if you're tech savvy. Related to that one is when do you tell your employers? I personally tell in the interview process. If I haven't already told during the job application, I tell in the interview process because they're gonna know. It's pretty obvious at this point. There was a time when I didn't, because let's be real, discrimination is real. It's very, very real. But nowadays, it's a disservice to myself to not share. They're gonna need to help me or know what I need in order to get the job done anyways. But it's always up to you what you're comfortable sharing with and what level of acuity you have. Everyone always asks me this question. When do you tell the guys you're dating? It depends. Sometimes I never tell them because they're not potential. There's no point. I find when I used to put it on the profile or let them know from the first date or first text or whatever it is, <sighs> The streets are sketchy, okay? First things first, I'm not gonna share with every Tom, Dick, and Harry that I'm visually impaired because I don't know who's out here trying to take advantage of who for what. Plus, I've had guys say, I've never been with a blind girl before, and I'm like, or this is my little insecurity here. Whenever I share I'm visually impaired, there's that moment where it's like, how are they gonna take it? Are they gonna be too scared? Are they gonna think it's a burden? I've realized now that, hey, if you wanna go because you're afraid or you think it's too much to handle, then you couldn't handle me anyway. Good luck, good riddance, goodbye, I bid you would do. But also on the other hand, not as cynical, sometimes it's just too much of a conversation. It overshadows everything. When they find out, oh, that's why you're not looking at me quite right, or oh, that's why you're looking at me so intensely. It's, it's, it's all of these questions and more. They want to know everything under the sun at once. I need to say this since I do this so much on my platform, but sometimes it's overwhelming talking about my eye disease. Sometimes it's too much. Sometimes it's tiring because I already do this here, right? I never even actually answer the question, how? How do I tell them I'm blind? It's been a long time since I've actually said, hey, I'm legally blind. Because usually Instagram be referring them and then they find my main page and then they know oh, you're blind. Yeah. But other than that, I would say most times I just casually say it like, Hey, yeah, you probably notice that I don't see you quite right. Or I'm not making perfect eye contact. Or if I'm zooming in on something, yeah, I'm blind. What? And you say it so casually that either they're surprised or they're like, Oh, I'm blind too. And it's like, no, 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 I'm actually blind. <laughs> I'm actually legally blind. How do you read? I zoom into everything. I haven't read a book in a few months because it just gets so tiring seeing one sentence on the screen at a time. But there are ways. I find that the e-readers aren't big enough for me. Even though this phone screen is smaller, they don't zoom in as much. It's weird. And then I don't really read that much other than that. Most times I'll just auditorily take in things like podcasts. The last, and in my opinion, most important question is how do you manage mentally? Oh, I have so many videos on this, but to run through it quick, meditation, prayer, mindfulness, patience, giving myself the space to have a bad day from time to time, journaling, self-awareness, platforms like YouTube and my Patreon pod, and a really good support network. Having good family and friends who are gonna grow with you and go with you as your vision deteriorates, essential. So those are all your FAQs. If you got more from me, you know where to leave it down below. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to tap the like, subscribe and share to stay a bit. And until next time, love and later. Oh wait, I forgot the whole stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later.